Hello, Raven's Librarian here with another part of SteamWorld Quest The Hand of Gilgamesh. In the last part, we faced off against Copernicus' former teacher, who had joined, allied with the Void Army, and taken over the school, the College of Alchemy. Although she revealed that they were seeking something called the Necronomicon. <laughs> Eleven, a blooming corruption. That's nice. The, the shopkeeper gave us a ride. The Necronomicon is supposedly this super powerful magical book. Oh wait, was it a book? Sorry, that might be. I'm thinking of the the ref. The thing it's referencing. Sorry, the Necronomicon. Yeah. It's an artifact that supposedly can give life to inanimate objects. At least that's the way I understood what she meant. So. She seemed in, the teacher seemed interested in, in it mainly because of its, what it can do in terms of its raw power, the effect it has. This is as far as I can take you. So it's no problem rolling up steep stairs in winding towers, getting through locked gates, or suddenly standing on the other side of seemingly impossible chasms. But you can't take us any closer to the city. After that bumpy ride, my wagon needs some rest. Aw, poor wagon. We just rest those tired wheels. What else is now? I challenge D. Really? Wolves? Oh, that's a frog. That's a bat. I don't know if you can see that in the shadow of the tree. Oh, hey, what the heck are you? I don't know what that thing is, but I know you're the annoying bandit type, so I can at least kill you quickly. Okay, that, that was rude. Figure out what these types of enemies are weak to. Oh. At least fire is still useful here. Trying to get something for the heal. Okay, he's gonna keep doing that. Okay, that was a very, that was a lot of overcompensating for not giving me cards before.
we'll find out. So it's not. So he's got the not healing thing trick. So he has that trick too. Okay, now, now, now I get it. So variety is the trick to get this one. And that. See how he reacts to this. Assuming her counter is only for elemental attacks, but I just want to make sure that... Yeah, okay, it's only for elemental attacks. Good, I'm fine. I still haven't really figured out what type of enemies we're facing, but figured I'm gonna wanna at least have some options. Problem here is he needs more of the other guys. I think it's healing more powerful. Probably a bad sign that they put this 
right here just after one fight. Uh, hey, crazy druid. We're about to find out how annoying these guys actually are. Gonna keep prioritizing taking down the guy I actually know what they can do. Right now, I'm getting this strong impression that Galio's probably gonna be the preferred healer for this area. I'm gonna have to switch back to using him a lot. I don't mind that in itself. It's just kind of frustrating when you don't, you can't really change your party all that much. You may be resistant to physical, but my character does way more damage than you. You guys are technically giving us the tour. In her case, I probably might keep this for a minute, but I just don't think I'm gonna need a lot of that. I don't know is. Which ones are going to be really useful? For now, I'm going to assume since we're in the forest, things are going to be weak to fire. That's just an assumption. We'll see how it actually plays out. Removes all helpful effects on one foe and deals physical damage twice. No. That could be really helpful against certain enemies who really like to give themselves stat buffs. Depending on the boss, that might be very useful. Here lies Knight Bensenum. No, Bensenum. Generous benefactor to the city of. The rest is worn out. I can't make out the name of the city or any dates. 
It must have been the original name of the cursed city. That was ages ago. Nobody around here to remember the real name. That's kind of sad. Once again, I'm nervous about going through the wrong place and skipping out on stuff. Switches to Fujin Mask, which transforms all physical damage dealt into storm damage. Raises Auric storm damage by one grade. The fact that they're giving me that card here makes me suspect it's actually going to be useful. There it is. Now at least try it out. Oh uh, yeah. These guys haven't the don't have the greatest range. Makes sense, they're short. Yeah, of course, it'd be resistant to physical. What about our king? Okay, that. I, for I forget. Oreg has an a card that does our arcane damage. I need to switch to that one. This is probably interesting. Is that because you lost a certain amount of health? I was resistant to it, but I want to see how much the difference is. Didn't help much. Really worried of getting rid of that card. I have options. So you think him as the healer? Could be able to have to deal with a lot of poisons on my build to justify switching to these guys as a team. If I do that, And now he's still in healer mode. Just have to decide if this is worth keeping during these sections. Kept forgetting to get rid of it during the boss fights and the mage stuff. In this case, I'll keep this one since it does. I'll keep one of these just in case an enemy does that trick. Which one will I switch it for? I'll go for this. Let's go for a regular. Make sure the steam deck can the steam can always get built up. Okay, that is where the two paths meet. At least where they're supposed to. A lot of coins. Nope, still couldn't get that aim right. Also, the wasps are back. Yay. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Bandits weak to fire. I don't look. Alright, you're not weak. You might be weak to lightning. I don't need two of you. Do we are Oh, we to arcane. Okay, so so far arcane seems to be the way to go to this place. It's always weird whenever he gives the shield buff because in my head it always sounds like he's saying stay down. I don't know why, but it always sounds like that's what he's saying. And we're done. So given the weaknesses of a, a lot of enemies, this does seem to be the party to go with. At least for now. When you said that the wildlife was different, I did not imagine it to be discorrupted. It was like it always has. I admit that I had my doubts about your assertion, but now I see it clearly. The Necronomicon is most definitely close by. Grants one ally the ability to counter attacks and forward any status ailments they may be inflicted with for three turns. That in this place, that actually might be a pretty useful card. I guess confirm what this thing does. Wrong button. Transforms all physical damage dealt into storm damage. I'm gonna keep that one just in case. So I'm sure most people know, but it just for the off chance you don't. The, when they call it, they say the Necronomicon. I think I already said the thing, but it's a reference to. Uh, another book in fiction called The Necronomicon. So probably you can't hear the difference. But it. It's meant to be like. A, a book, you know, tied to necromancy and a lot of stuff related to, you know, dark magic and the like. Very fitting thing that, you know, it's somewhere close by to this area since it would have a, an effect on the area around it. And it follows its inspiration. 
you know, being this very dark, bleak place. That works. Just in case you should. Yeah, good thing I have the different he heals that heal different status effects. Only problem is I can't take too long just reacting to their attacks. I'm sure the bandit will find this very ironic that we're stealing from them. the other card. Uh, that effects are already done, so... Need to test if this guy's weak. So, no. He does arcane damage, so he's not weak to it. Everybody's still, still filled with despair. We'll go with that. Overkill, but at least. Everybody, I right. think the despair one ran out.
So I mean, the mask won't do much since he's not taking any physical damage. But it might convert what he's suffering to auto damage, which might work. So he didn't switch immunities. I think I'm misunderstanding how that card works. Yeah, he's resistant, not immune to it, so... Still does damage. Slow, but we are making progress. So now in this in, in this area, the the way they prolong the map seems to be by using. The branching path style from the previous one. Oh no. Aha! Stand down and hand over all your weapons and valuables. I keep forgetting the voice I gave him. You! You again? So the Jack is so he's, he's so as the void army stoops so low as to resort to common highway robbery. Well, not really. After losing twice to you guys, they kicked me out. So um, just hand over all your valuables. Here we go again. Third times the charm, right? On one hand, this could be an incredibly easy fight. On the other, I don't think it's going to be. So probably going to be easier than the one with the dragon, but... So he's gone back to doing arcane damage. I wish I had Copernica in the party. This guy's probably weak to either one of the elemental attacks. Interesting change of the tune. Still technically the same song, but there's something different about it. Not sure how to describe it. That's a new trick. really paying off with those with them okay I'm just I'm just not building up steam there we go I 
see if he's... Are you by any chance weak to Blizzard? Nope. Alright. So I haven't checked if he's weak to... Lightning. Again, it's kind of ironic that we're stealing from the guy who's trying to steal from us. And he really... Why are you got a grudge against them? You haven't even met him before. Alright, so he is weak to lightning. You think I'm wearing the mask then? from poison. He cannot. Yeah, pretty. You want I don't think he'll survive the poison. Strange fellow, that one, but no more wasting time. Let's walk. And we'll never see him again. Probably, maybe. I don't remember. Well, here we are. Yeah, this place doesn't look terrifying at all. Man, I am bad at finding those chests. Haunted by the corrupted, corruptive state of the forest, our fearless company enters the ruins, harboring the Necronomicon. And that's the start of Act 3. Next time we'll actually visit the town. Gets pretty fun there. At least, you know, if you're really into bleak, dark visuals and, you know, personality. So. Hope to see you all there. Have a great day.